7.4 JavaScript to manipulate value prompt. Just like we can add HTML items on the report, we can also add JavaScript, which will execute on the client side after the web page loads. We can use this feature to manipulate Cognos prompts, like selection of the value prompt. In this video, we will start with a report that shows order details by date, and there is a filter on order date driven by a parameter called ODate. We will see how to use JavaScript to select the latest order date in the value prompt. So let's go in Page Explorer and add a new prompt page. Drag a new value prompt. And for the parameter, select ODate, which is used to filter the order dates. In the next step, choose to create a new query which will drive the prompt values. Call it P order date and ensure that it is using the order date column. Hit finish to close this. At this stage, we can run the report to test that the prompt values are populated fine and we can see that the order dates are showing in the drop down in ascending order. So let us go back and select the prompt from properties, open sorting, and drag order date to sort list and change the order to descending. Hit OK. So now we know that the latest order date will be on the top of the list because the dates are sorted descending. So let's write a JavaScript to select the first date from the list, which is the latest available order date in database. For the JavaScript to manipulate this prompt, we have to first give it a name. So from the properties, scroll down and give this prompt a name as my list. Also, let us change the UI to list box. And now drag a new HTML item from toolbox and put it next to the list box. Double click on it to edit the HTML item and put this JavaScript in it. Basically, this JavaScript is checking the count of the values in the list box, which is called my list. And if there are one or more values, then it selects the first value, which is the latest date available in our database. You can download this script along with the samples from our website. Hit OK and save the report. Now let's give it a try. So we can see that when our prompt page loads, the JavaScript automatically selects the first entry from list box. So as a user, I just have to press finish button and I can see the orders data for the latest date available in database, which is 31st May 2005. This example is a very simple one to show you how JavaScripts can be used to manipulate the Cognos prompt controls. However, you can write more sophisticated scripts to do the prompt validation and perform more client-side operations like changing the size of window, displaying a message, or automatic submission of prompt values. In the next video, we will show you another example of how to show or hide certain prompts using JavaScript.